Hello and welcome to Biology. Today I'm going to be teaching you about the biology syllabus and what biology is about. So what is biology? Biology is the study of life and living organisms. Organisms means any living thing. So it can mean plants and animals, bacteria, fungi, anything that's living at all. And you need to get used to this word because it's used in the HSC biology syllabus quite a lot. It includes their structure and how their structure actually affects their function. It also includes the growth of organisms, their origin, evolution, their interrelationships with one another. This includes also how what eats what, so what animal eats what, what's prey and what's a predator, and how they interrelate in ecosystems. There's also their distribution, how they're distributed throughout the world. Within the HSC biology syllabus, there's also a focus on humans and how they actually affect nature. Um, there's, they, the study of biology recognises that while humans are a part of nature, they continue to have a greater influence on the environment than any other species. Whilst in the past humans have had a very negative impact taking over a lot of their homes, humans are actually actively trying to help and maintain animals and stop them from becoming extinct. So what do you need to know for HSC biology? You need to know the biology syllabus. You can get this syllabus online on the Board of Studies website. You can get the syllabus, previous HSC exams and also marking criteria and sample answers. It's a good idea before any end exam for your trial exam and your HSC exam to do the past papers and then look at the marking criteria. With From 2009 onwards, they actually have sample answers and these answers are only a guide. They're not the exact answer that you need. They're just a guide to help you answer these questions in the HSC. So, there are four topics you need to know for your HSC biology syllabus. There are maintaining a balance, and this is talking about a balance within the human body. So it talks about how we have a stable state in us as humans, and we might get cold, but how does our body make ourselves warm again? It also includes the blueprint of life, and this includes genetics, our DNA, how we might have blue eyes and blonde hair, or brown hair and dark brown eyes, for example. They also have the search for better health and this is talking about health and how we can achieve better health. There's been more of a focus on prevention these days rather than curing diseases and it's amazing how sometimes we can actually prevent diseases from ever happening. The option is to be chosen from five different options. The, these include communication, biotechnology, genetics the code broken, the human story and biochemistry. Communication is the most common one that biology teachers choose and that tends to be because it tends to be a little bit easier than the others. However, biotechnology and genetics, the code broken, are also great to choose because they overlap with the biology syllabus a little bit it's with blueprint of life. So your assessment mark, how is it made up? Your final assessment mark is made up of all of your assessments during the year, they add up to 100% and we actually halve that to get 50% of your total in-class assessment marks. Then, when you do your HSE examination, we get 50% of that mark and we put those two marks together and that becomes your final HSC mark. In class assessments, you'll be doing three to five assessments in class ass during the year. Now these assessments should be a variety of things and it might include research tasks um, that may be group or individual that you need to do at home and then bring in. They could include practical experiments um, that you do in class and you do need to know these pracs for the end examination. They might be group tasks where you work in groups or written examinations. Both your trial and your, and your HSC are both written examinations. Your trial exam is the last exam that you should have before your HSC. It's usually worth about 30% and it should mimic the HSC. That means that you should have three hours written time and five minutes reading time to complete the examination. There are two sections in the HSC. Section one includes multiple choice questions, which are 20 multiple choice questions, and also short answer questions of all your core topics that you have to do. In section two, 
You answer short answer questions on the topic that you chose in class only. You don't answer all of the questions and this is because only the first one will ever be marked. So it might not be the one that you've done in class and you would have lost a lot of marks by the end of that examination. So how do you cope? The biology subject is very involved. You will do very well if you understand the course content. This might include learning some study techniques that benefit you. Study techniques are different for every person. The study techniques that might help um, a person that is visual is by writing down notes and rereading those notes because they're visually seeing the notes. Question activities, you can get these obviously from your past HSC exam, exams on the Board of Studies website or you can even get these from your teacher or from textbooks. Now the two textbooks that I recommend for this HSC Biology course include the Biology in Focus textbook. It's absolutely wonderful and very in-depth. But there's also Heinemann Biology HSC and that's also another brilliant textbook and both will help you tremendously for your HSC. So what knowledge do you need to have for your HSC exam? The knowledge for the HSC course is actually built up on the preliminary course. So if you don't know um, something that comes up in the HSC, refer back to the preliminary course information. Now this is a snapshot of the syllabus. You can see that there's three columns here. The left hand column here is in bold and it's a, a broad um, topic overview of what you're going to be going in your syllabus. Now the second column here has theory dot points. This here is what you should be covering in class and you should be making sure that you cover each dot point in class. Now the third column here, that involves your practical experiments and also research tasks. Your teacher may ask you to do some of the research tasks at home, especially if you run out of time in class. Okay, and this concludes our biology introduction. Thank you. Mm -hmm.